Hello and welcome back once again to Elden Ring. Uh, the Erd Tree and this naked chick, Quessa, who is us. Who hopefully we'll have to not be naked for too much longer. Um, we're going to see if we can find someone I found last time. Some very horrible noises that happen over here. And I really don't know who they are. Are they these bats? Are the bats eating someone? What's going on with y'all? Is it these guys? Is it y'all? Screaming? They don't look like they're moving. But this definitely appears to be where the sounds are coming from. And only at night. Just really weird. Super weird. I heard that before and could not figure out what it was. But it definitely sounds like it's these, I guess, crucified tarnished. Even though they, they're not like writhing around, you know? Which I'm sure has to be intentional. You know, it's almost like the memory of a a thing. It's it's creepy. It's creepy and very loud. <laughs> Uh, let's see, where am I going? I'm trying to find... Well, this isn't going to make it easier, is it? I'm trying to find one very specific thing. <clears throat> and I can't remember where I found it. I really can't remember where I found it. Runes, please. Uh, I guess I'll know it when I come across it, but wish um so many free runes not a lot, but something where are you? where are you? And are you guys screaming? Yep, it's definitely these guys. They're making different noises, but they're still making noises. And yet, they're totally inanimate. This one make the noise? No? Uh, maybe it's not them? I, I don't know. Maybe it's something that's like buried near them, or... God only knows, this game is going to be so full of mysteries. Like, who knows? Yeah, and there's some down there. I haven't actually been down there yet. This is all new. Um, and I'm trying to find one specific place. Which I think was up here, but it may not appear at night. Either that or I fucked it up. Um, I thought it was like here. I might have fucked it up. It is possible. Um, we could pass time. No, actually, wait a minute. It's not here. What am I thinking? It's over this way, I think. I think. 
Yeah, I think it was over here. What's up, bats? Death, please. All right. I think it was over here. It's also possible that it won't appear during the nighttime because there's various changes that happen to the world uh, between these cycles of day and night. I think I see it. I think I see it. So that guy may interfere, and he is unpleasant, so. How far away are you? He's okay. Oi! You, you there. Could you help us out, Cully? So, it took me a hot second where I was like, what? You? Yeah, you Who? Where? Stop pretending you can't see me. But you can narrow down the voice. And there it is. What'd you go and do that for? <clears throat> oh yes. I remember. Some clod turned me into a tree. You were just breaking the spell, weren't you? Thank you. The name's Bok. I was pushed out of the cave told not to come back not ever then i ended up as a tree <laughs> lucky you came along really how he ended up as a tree i don't know oh what a shame when they threw me out of the cave they took everything i owned and so this is all i have to express my thanks i hope you can forgive me hmm or well, if you can afford to wait for a while, I could sneak back into the cave and bring back something of actual value. Then I'd be of some real use to you, I reckon. You would. Right. But I'll need a moment. I'm, I'm frightened of them. So I have to gather myself. My knees start knocking. Just thinking about that god awful cave on the shore. Well, we've been to that cave on the shore. So we may be able to meet our friend again. Assuming that I didn't sequence break things by defeating those two bosses. I had found them, but I had not defeated them, I believe. And then later discovered uh, Bok there. Who's, I, I like him a lot. He's a really heartbreaking character, which we'll find in a little bit here. I'm not, like, overly displeased with the performance of this game so far. Like, for all the negativity I've heard, it's not bad. It's not perfect, no, but it's not bad. Um, if the hitching were less of an issue on, on PC, then... Like, that would clearly be the superior version if you have a rig strong enough to run it. Um, so hopefully they'll sort that out with some patches at some point. Uh, because it is the only other negative. Like, otherwise it ran beautifully after I got my driver situation sorted out. It was great, so. Um, let's see here. We're gonna do a quick little detour this site of lost grace um, I guess I'm gonna rest um, let's see I do not have nearly enough to level up or anything so this is another type of plant herba Evergreen leaves that give off a faint light. Very common medicinal plant can be found in thickets and elsewhere. At some point I'll have to start buying some, some crafting stuff. 
really haven't so far. One thing we can do, however, is we can craft ourselves some rainbow stones. I'm going to craft all the ones I have. Uh, you can craft those out of ruined fragments. And I'm going to equip them as well. And what I'm going to do here is, like prism stones in past games, you can drop them. And that's how you know if you'll survive a fall. Um, if they shatter, you're going to die. These guys give you almost nothing in the way of rewards. really just kind of annoying. Have a quick swig. Uh, what's more dangerous here is skeletons. And I discovered oh, right, hello, these jellyfish dudes. Uh, these guys will come back to life as skeletons are wont to do. But, if you bonk them when they're dead, like this, you can smash them and keep them from coming back. That guy is the tough one. His little friends here are no big deal, but he is... If you let him get up, those double swords are no joke. Got another corpse friend here, hanging out. Looking very unpleasant. And he's got Poison Bloom. You can hit these guys while they're still down, which is pretty cool. So. And we killed the whole group, so we get our, uh, our nice Flask uh, restock, which is pretty cool. I never did check these guys out. They're really beautiful. And non hostile? Hello. You're super pretty. I don't want to hurt you. I'm for slug. What? Offer fire. fire. I don't need to hurt them. So. Um. Visions of Gorgeous View. I mean. This is more charnally than, than anything. These bodies? Yeah, they're bodies. For some reason. What's going on over here? This is all new to me. I didn't do this last time. I might have traveled through here, maybe, but... I don't know what the deal is with this. Here! Nope. 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 Everybody loves to fake you out. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, what I did do, so we're going to do it again, is I ran over this way. We're almost basically where I left off. Not quite, but almost. Um, Spirit Spring jumping, so this just lets you get high up while you're on your horse. Um, we're almost where I left off. And I'm just going to barrel on through these last few things, and then we'll be all caught up. This is one of the last things I found. The Murkwater Catacombs. 
I feel like these just kind of kicked my ass all around. Uh, I feel like. Guess, guess who? Yup. Your friends and mine. Little tiny stone asshole. Come on, fella. Let's do it. Some more glove wart, which at some point we can apparently use to upgrade spirits. Now this looks awful familiar, doesn't it? Sure does. And I'm thinking that variations on this weird, on that uh, weird Erd Tree watchdog thing are probably... Hello. Sneaky sneaky. Um, are probably something that you will find down in these places. Oh yes, I remember now. Also, traps. Ouch. Kind of lucked out there, huh? Ooh. And a flask restore. Nice. So here again, right, we see... Come on, not that. We see one of these, like, whoever these are, these nobles. And I think these are kind of supposed to be the wandering nobles that we found the ashes for. Um, that were searching for something, and they came to these catacombs and somehow died, I guess? I, I don't know. Likely chaos, sure. Oh, right, shit. Stay out of the way of that. We opened something. I don't think I ever went in to actually see what it was. I think because... These guys roughed me up pretty good. Right, just like that. Just like that. And they even deliver it to you again. Okay, and there's one back there somewhere that drops, I guess. Sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky little mothers. All right, well, we're getting, right. Oh, hello. Summoning pool. Now, I imagine that activating these is what will activate um, offline summons, like, you know, AI summonings. Oh god, no, no. No, 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 no. Don't want any of this. No, no blood loss, you sons of bitches. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm even out here. I will drag you all the way out. This. No. Oh god, it's so scary. It's so scary. <laughs> I hate them so much. Just because of that blood loss, not even the... Ah, it's you. You're the sneaky little... Yes. Wonder if one of these messages be wary of ambush. Well, yes. Be wary of left. I am going to try leaving a message because I have not really done so. Multiplayer menu. Uh, this is where you can set a group password, which is the thing I would do if I was on PC with my friends. And yes, we know about messages, so how about...
Hmm. Looking for like descriptions of, you know, I want to say likely jerk or something like that. But maybe likely traitor, yeah. Yeah, sure. Likely invisible sort. That uh gets across what I want to get across, I guess. I haven't left a message, that's my first one, so we'll see if anyone actually like rates it or cares. Um more traps down here. I'm gonna grab this. There's our friend the jerk. That didn't work. Ay, 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 ay. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I'm out. You guys are jerks, man. Yep, there it is. Pop. I, I suspect it's probably because uh, we're playing a wretch and wearing nothing. So um, it's probably really easy uh, to get bled like that. So let's grab these. Let's maybe level up. I don't know. Or something. So I guess we can. Uh, just get one point of vigor. Sure. I think this is pretty much the level I left off at. Um, I think it was I'd just gotten one more level of vigor. Is it like, Aye, there you are. Nope, that's death. <laughs> So you see what I mean. I think you see what I mean about these guys. Not being uh, pushovers. So I'm gonna go grab, I guess, my stuff here. Yep. Oh, that didn't work right. For some reason. Just gonna kill you. Get my runes. And get the fuck out! Damn it. There. Did I see if bought my I did see something. He dropped something. What? Imped cat. What is that? That I have not seen before. Is it a... Oh, wow. Head covering made from the largely unaltered head of an impish golem resembling a cat. It holds trace amounts of feline intelligence. Interesting. So if I was going to wear this monstrosity, which I feel like I should do, yeah. <laughs> this is hilarious. All right. Well, it's time for a definite screenshot. Definitely time for a screenshot. That's going to be one to send to my buddies. Uh, let's see. I want to get the item that's down there. It's the only thing. So I don't really want to do like a just run for it thing, but I guess I'll get it eventually when I come back. So it doesn't matter. We're just gonna let's just book. Let's just get out of here. Back into the world. And we'll try out. 
for the first time, one of these spirit springboards, whatever they call them. Woohoo! That is rad. That's <laughs> that's very fun. Okay, I have not been over here. This is all new, all new territory. And we're almost caught up. There's one more dungeon, one more very short dungeon that I need to do before we're caught up. Hello, what have we here? <laughs> yep. And what's that? That was like a golden shimmering something that disappeared. I don't know. I don't know. Am I imagining that? Hello. Picture. Rot. What is this? It's just a shimmering picture of something. Like some gravestones beneath an archway. Homing instinct painting. We get it as an item. Even more interesting. Where would that be? No, no. Here in info. Uh, reminiscence of the painting Homing Instinct. Work of a wandering artist. This painter is said to have captured. Is hmm? yes, well is said to have captured the landscape seen during the last moments of those welcomed into death's embrace. The soul of the painter and vestiges of the dead's last moments can be discovered by visiting the location depicted even now. So maybe we have to like find that? That place in the world somewhere? That sounds neat. This is just a like cool little shack here hanging out. Very homey. Oh, hi. And see, this is another one of those wandering nobles, right? Ooh, a smithing stone. That's valuable. And lots of poop. Excellent. Who doesn't love poop? Where are we exactly? Oh, we're off map. Okay. We're off map. So presumably, at some point, we're going to find another map fragment. Oh, God. Hi, dude. Don't fight me. I don't want to fight you. We're buds. We're not buds. Not, not to him. Oh, ooh, tarnished golden sunflower. I think I saw a bear down there. And I've seen screenshots of those bears. Just a couple, so... Wonk. Well, let's see what's down here. Hello, turtle. Oh, what a cutie. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you. That goat's still chasing me. Jesus Christ, dude, are you serious? Leave me alone. I got no beef with you. I'm gonna if you don't leave me alone. Alright, you know what? I'm sorry. I cannot deal with you chasing me when I want to, like, see what's going on here. So, that is the Erd tree, but there's all these, like, smaller trees? Um, and very big gravestones. And more grave things, it looks like. God, I love this game so much already. It's just, I love the sense of exploration. There were moments like this all throughout the Dark Souls games, but there's just so many of them here. You know, these big, epic, monumental feeling moments of discovery. Hello, mushroom. Oh, these cute little things. I won't hurt you, because you guys are just adorable. Little chinchilla-looking dudes? I don't know. Oh, bear. Hi. Okay, now that's not the bear from... 
the screenshots, right? Those were like big, like tattooed looking things. Ow. And we're way bigger than this. So, nah, that's cool, man. I'm, I'm gonna leave you to your business. I just wanna get out. There is still some hitching. It's it's not as pronounced on PS5 as it is on PC, but you can you can feel the game loading stuff in as you travel a little bit, which is a bummer. It is it would be nicer if this was a little better optimized. But ooh, hello. Cool. Look at that. That's awesome. I'm not really sure what I want to do here. Um, yeah. Oh, hello. There's a, another one of those weird statues. Oh, God. Oh, I thought that was going to kill us for sure. Can I jump over to that? Maybe? Oh, God. Oh, God. Nope. Not dead, though. Sweet. Okay, um, how do we get up over there then? Oops. Guess we can just go back over here. I hear a noise. Oh, it's our little beetle friend. Well, I don't need to hurt you right now. You disappear? Yeah. I don't think they give you any special rewards like permanent drops, but I could be wrong about that. I don't know. All right. Now, where was the thing I just saw? It was over here somewhere. There was another one of those statues. Here it is. Oops. Wrong button. Hello. Creepy. Whatever you are. How do I... Read? No, I don't want to read message. Mimicry? Tarnished ahead? So can I not actually use this? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, maybe because I found it already? It was probably pointing to that other um, little catacomb that I went in already. So that would make sense, I guess. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to bounce back to the church. And from here... Um, we're gonna go find another cave that I explored and beat the thing that was in it. And we're gonna try to do it the same way that I did it the first time. I'm a little confused as to why these guys are always carrying torches. Like, it's, it's broad daylight, dude. You don't, you don't need that right now. You're wasting fuel, mate. It's fine. I promise. Uh, let's see some more root resin. And stab. Sorry, mate. Cave time. The Groveside Cave. I had seen this from the closed network test. Um, I didn't watch a lot of that, but I did watch some footage. Uh, some. So this is a wolf cave. There's a bunch of wolves in here. I don't like killing wolves, so we're not going to. There's some goodies down there that you can get, um, including cave moss and silver fireflies. I don't really know what those are. Uh, maybe there's something else too. I'm not really sure. So what we're gonna do is just grab this glowstone, cool golden rune, cool. 
Now we get up here. Nope. Nope. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck everything. Fuck everyone. Take a quick drink and go fight a boss. And the boss is the Beastman of Farum Azula. Now this guy is not easy, but I did find a very convenient exploit. Which is, just do that over and over again. Ow, ow. Because you, you stun him. Which is nice. Uh, oh, that, I did the wrong thing. Although it looks like I'm stunning him just with my regular attack here as well. Um, I beat him with the club the first time. He killed me twice, maybe? Yeah, and it looks like I can just kind of wail on him. <clears throat> so he's a little tougher than he looks. Um, I just already fought him, kind of know how to fight him. And because of this weapon, was able to exploit him even more so than I was the first time. Um, you can see he's been killing Godric's soldiers. Um, and, and this is a pretty, I think it's supposed to be one of the first boss fights that you potentially encounter, because if you're following that line, uh, the Guidance of Grace, it's, it's going to lead you right here, pretty much. So uh, what we can do is we can now... We have this Flame Drake Talisman, which boosts fire negation by quite a bit, uh, if I recall correctly. Talisman depicting a red ancient dragon boosts fire damage negation. The ancient dragons who ruled in the prehistoric era before the Erd Tree would protect their lord as a wall of living rock. And so it is that the shape of the dragon has become symbolic of all manner of protections. So pretty interesting. Um, that the dragons protected a lord back in the past? Like, that feels very George R.R. R. Martin-y. Not a lot of stuff in this game so far has, you know, jumped out at me as like, oh, George R.R. R. Martin, but, um, you know, that maybe more so than some other stuff. Another smithing stone, that's good. I might be able to actually upgrade this weapon, which would be sweet. Um, so, you know what? Let's... Let's say hello to Torrent. Actually, to you too. Walk. Ow. So maybe we can buy some stuff. We got a little bit of ash. <clears throat> can also potentially upgrade ourselves, but I can talk to Melina. That's interesting. Uh, oh, right. I've totally, totally forgot. Um, to even look at these. Do, do, do. That's not what I'm looking for. Not there either. Where are you? Here. So we got tailoring tools, uh, which... Enables armor alterations at Sites of Grace. And we have a sewing needle, which is Box. Um, his prized possession. Now you'll notice that he was wearing, like, cool little clothes, like a hat and stuff. And that's going to be a thing of importance. Weren't you? Well, you're back. Yes, I am back. Let's buy stuff. What can I buy from you? We could get one of these things. I don't know. I don't know. I did think about getting a bow. Um, because that was pretty cool. I did that in my last game. Also, um, we could finally buy some of this. Like, some actual stuff to wear. <laughs> which would be kind of nice. Dependable protection. Um, 
Yeah, what the hell? You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. There are others of my people who yet survive in these lands. If the mood takes you and you meet one, then offer them some trade, won't you? I certainly will. Wanderers all have long been spurned by the grace of gold, which is why we cannot settle, but instead are forced into this pitiful, unceasing journey. But thanks to that, things are not so different for us now. Though the Elden Ring is shattered, I think this makes us kindred spirits of sorts. Your people, the Tarnished, and mine. I can't remember if we... Perhaps you don't need to hear this. Talk to him about this before. See that no harm comes to my kin. We have a saying, we wanderers. Lament not your solitude. Expect no sympathy, no regard, nothing. But if anyone dares harm us, show them no mercy. That is our code, so to speak. Just the way we are, deeply unforgiving. Yeah, no kidding. Goodbye. Nice to do business. Indeed. Me and this horrible cat face. Uh, let's see. We can put on finally, finally some pants. Yeah, pants. And I'm still fast rolling, so. Yes, pants. Um. So now what we're gonna do? is we are going to bounce back to the coastal cave. I found this organically the first time just because I came back attempting to beat the boss that I had sort of given up on at that point. And we can talk to poor Bach here. What are you doing here? <clears throat> you must leave this place at once. They'll rush in and beat you to a pulp. You'll end up just like me. I feel so bad for him. Wait. Is that what I think it is? You got it back for me. My sewing needle. He's such a... Such a sad character. <gasps> what made you go and do a thing like that? My mum was a seamstress and that sewing kit was all I had to remember her by I always wanted to be just like sweet old mum oh, then I s suppose I I can't just curl up and die can I thank you you're very kind I always wanted to be a seamstress like, like my mum then I suppose I I can't just curl up and die, can I? Nope. Thank you. You're very kind. I always want... Alright. Um, so I'm gonna rest here. We cannot talk to Melina anymore. Really. But, Bach is gone. So what I'm gonna do is, I wanna see... Because there's a thing further back in this cave. So we're now 100% caught up. We have done everything that I did in my first character um, in a much shorter span of time, <laughs> thankfully. Uh, found different, different gear slightly, some of the same and some different. I definitely didn't have these pants. All I had was Godric soldier armor or whatever um, and nothing for my head and it looked terrible because it just made my head look really small. It was weird. <laughs> I wasn't too into it. Um, I'm assuming the boss fellas will be dead. And we'll just have to deal with small guys here. Silver fireflies. Like, I don't know what the deal is with these. Because they don't look like fireflies, right? But maybe they're just chilling, not moving. I don't know what they do. Okay, these guys are dead, I guess. It sort of saves this, the state of this as part of the boss fight, so everyone's finished, finito. 
But there's more back here. And I I wandered like about this far in and said, I don't want to lose all my runes <laughs> and chickened out. Uh, and I wandered this far and decided I just didn't want to risk it. I feel like I saw something. Maybe I even came over here and saw, yeah. And saw that and was like, I don't want to, I don't want to mess with this. Don't mind the lady with the torch. That's for Bach, punk. I don't know what smoldering butterflies do. I don't think I've actually looked at that yet. I should check. Um, is they, I don't think they can do... Yeah, they're crafting. Not, not like they were in Dark Souls 2. An eternally burning butterfly found near wild files and elsewhere. Materials used for crafting items serves as a kindling for a number of items. Okay. Fine. Let's do it. These guys are relatively easy now. Relatively. Lots of bones. Uh, read message. Light ahead. Is this another exit? Behold, message. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hello. Where are we? Oh, snap. Oh, cool. So this is how you get over here. I don't think I've shown this yet on camera, but you can see the sea is deep. Like this is not like, oh, look at the nice beach. The beach extends for a short ways and then drops off into a cliff. And I don't think you can swim. I haven't tried it, but I am 99% sure that you cannot swim. So um, this ain't Sekiro. Grab. <laughs> God. Oh, I love these stupid, stupid messages. They're so good. Sunset. Pretty. Well, y'all, this game has its teeth in me. Finally, now that I'm able to do what I set out to do. Which was to record a playthrough and to do it without too much hassle. I'm bummed that I sort of lost a night, but you know, it's fine. Uh, we kind of rolled through it and missed some really great moments for sure in some of that early footage, but um, ultimately this is, this is a much better way for me to be doing this. I don't know what's wrong with my capture card and why it's freaking out the way it is about certain things, but hello. Um, but yeah. I'm just glad that we're able to do this properly now. Because I can't wait to see more of this game. Like, I am just so stinking excited. Alright, well. You know what? Let's just touch Grace. And, uh, we did a really long one the first time. So I'll keep this second one a little shorter. So thanks for joining me, everybody, and I will see you very, very soon once again in the Lands Between.